Hello Scott class, we're back again looking at non-fiction texts. One thing that all non-fiction texts have in common is this. They all have a page that looks a little bit like this at the front. It's called a contents page. Contents page. A contents page tells you all of the different information that's in the book and it tells you the page number that you have to turn to so that you can find that piece of information. So in our text, we've got spring starts on page six, first flowers on page eight, animals are born on page 10, buds and leaves on page 12, birds nesting on page 14, being outside on page 16, sun and rain on page 18, blossom and bees on page 20, tadpoles and baby birds on page 22, on the farm on page 24, summer is coming on page 26, spring projects on page 28, and then the index. Hmm, that's a strange word. Index. Index. The index is at the back of the book. If you want to find out what a word means or where you can find it, it gives you lots of different words that are in the text and the page number that you can find them on. I have a challenge for you. Do you think you can try and find a book in your house that has a contents page just like this one? Off you go. Go have a look. Stop the video. Welcome back. Okay. I'm going to have a look at the contents page. I'm going to look at Sun and Rain on page 18. <gasps> There's the information about Sun and Rain. If I wanted, if I had a question, I could look at the contents page and find what page to go to. So, what if I decide that I want to find out about what are the flowers that grow in spring? Would I look, and I'm going to give you a couple of options, at first flowers on page eight or tadpoles and baby birds on page 22? If I wanted to find out about flowers, do you think I would look at first flowers or tadpoles and baby birds? I would look at first flowers on page eight. Can you try and think of a question because you know our text that you would like to find out? Tell me the question and I'll tell you the page number that I would have to look at to find out the answer. I'll make sure to post this contents page on Tapestry so that you and adult can have a look. Your final challenge, can you try and see if you can tell me one of the page numbers and the different areas of the contents page for me to think of a question about for you then to try and answer if you look at our video of me telling the story. Have a look at the contents page of the book that you find. What information does it tell you about? I can't wait to see the fantastic work that you post in Tapestry all about you exploring contents pages in non-fiction texts. Take care and I'll see you in our next video.